rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? <gasps> no more wards. Thank you. going to need a hand here. <laughs> Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. Not gonna ask for help? Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. Careful now. Wards, think you can fend for yourself? An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Is this thing? Banish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. This is some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. So, you can see me. 
Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Haskell? You may talk. A banished ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. I thought I was going to grow old in here. Were you stuck in here? In the Aralu? Originally, I was searching for the source of the poisoning. I may have overestimated my talents. Still, an amazing place to be stuck in, no? Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we are the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? Men bonding over bereavement and black magic. A pretty tale indeed. I should have proceeded with more caution. You shouldn't have proceeded at all. We have a witch hunt on our hands. You could face trial for this botched ritual. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! Are you aware of what would happen if people learnt of your studies? Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Will you still say that when Pennington accuses you of witchcraft? You must remember Deborah. Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. By the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be sure the Void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes, we learned of it in Fort Jericho. I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, 
Ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. Confusion, paralysis, can you tell me more? I felt my movement slowing, my thinking too, space seemed to thicken. But wait, what if, what if it was not space thickening, but time slowing? In recent months, many in New Eden have spoken of similar feelings, of lost time, hours untrackable, days passing unremembered. Who knows how the Aralu disturbs the minds and bodies of women and men? Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell. And I am a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin the existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? You did not find the void breach beneath the mill by accident. You had help. Who taught you? I did my research. Suddenly, you're a man of few words. I'd rather not involve those not present. Discretion, you understand. We find you up to your neck in the blackest magic, speechifying about your transcendent journey. Your life is on the line, Lamy. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them, where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring, until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. As a thinker, he was prolific and profound. My father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. To me, knowledge is itself the prize. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze, then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. 
Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just, you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again, not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? Are colours the same as you remember them? My senses are different. It's difficult to describe how. I can see, sometimes touch. I cannot smell. Red tells me this is a blessing. How do you manifest in this plane? Do you feel bound or are you here by choice? It feels as if I were clinging to a rope high above the abyss. Even if I wished to let go, I could not bring myself to do it. I see. What about your banisher skills? Can you use them? Do the accoutrements of your craft still work? As a ghost, do they not harm you? The marks on my hands and the rings on my fingers aren't actually there. They have no more effect on me than a memory. Can you talk to any ghost you wish? No. I sense traces of their presence. To talk to them, I must still do the work. And yet here I am, talking to you. How marvelous. The dead are rarely as articulate, nor are they accommodating. In fact, they're often quite rude. We should probably get going. Some other time, then. Well, we've merely scratched at the surface of the great mysteries. I mean, look around us. We stand here beyond the ultimate frontier. S sorry. I mean to say, yes, Mr. Stuarty. And there, we should get going. So, the biased governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. I was as earnest as he. Ah, the rank enthusiasm of youth. It's sickening, really. I don't know if the paralysis and confusion applies to me, but I feel strange, and I suspect the ooze. Only one way to find out. Oh, God! I need a wee bit of help here. Yes, I can take it. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. I can't worry. You're on your own. I don't think so. I 
your side again. Is through the breach, separates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. Huh? <clears throat> Who goes there? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? from the harrows we may be below the well no wonder they all got sick This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Something's here. Hidden. Incoming! 
Something's here. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Gibbs' land was barren. They were struggling for money. Look up. The ooze, uh, oozed through the very stone. This one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Is the Gibbs's house targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, I. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! That was Deborah. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. Mrs. Gibbs, I presume.
I know. In here? Ah, shite. I see a ghost ward. I am warded. I cannot. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah was saying. Well, the Gibbs were not at home to rational explanations. Anything. Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream.
Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers. Nah, but you can't cook. Think you can fend for yourself. And you will not be judged. Forgive. Sorry, not this time. Those echoes we're hearing are the shadows speaking. They yes. always appear near the ooze. So the whispers. But which came first? Beware, wards. I can manifest now. <laughs> I know. The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Try this on you, Sam. This looks barefully drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes. 
like the void. I... Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. You are sent back. This whole country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Whoever it was, it looks like the ooze got him. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing? Land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye. Many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye. And many want to see her dead. Reinforcements! This isn't over yet. Those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or Baki liquefy. This is something else. The ooze reacted to our presence. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I think they made the ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. We should search this place more thoroughly. We better stick around.
We're not finished here. This is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? Something tells me this is the condemned well. Do you think you could get that bucket down? from the past drifts by. The devil still breathes through her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stalling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial, and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself, but can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? How oh, dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? He's afraid. The Earth took the Gibbs house, perhaps he thought he was a target too. The Gibbs had a hand in rigging the witch trial, but he was the one who sealed it. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. We speak, so you listen. Impudence, Let Urim agree. You have all of your hands 
and weakness in your heart. Guilty! Lord to vanquish evil, you conspired with witches. Sworn to banish all ghosts, instead you embrace one. The charges? Cowardice, oath-breaking, deception! The verdict? Guilty! The sentence? I only seek the truth. I never wanted this. I hate the very thing I've become. Strikes do nothing.
Enough. Can we please get out of here? That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. I feel judged. Like I'll never be understood again. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. A raging epidemic drove them out of their minds. Unable to look within, they pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Feel something close. Precise. Well done. That, down there, it was, uh, I was tense. I was impatient. The infamy's doing, not yours. No, no. 
doesn't change the feelings. I never thought I could feel such anger again. They were Deborah's feelings, not yours. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh, good. His latest sermon. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions- I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? Tells the story of a woman, a teacher, living peaceably among friends until there came a plague. In fear, the good people went to their governor. The devil walks among us, they said, and you must save us or we will find someone who will. This governor knew he could not save them, but he could give them a witch. The train band captain shackled the schoolteacher and locked her away. She would confess, or she would be judged. Deborah Comenius was a witch, Mr. McCraith. She was the devil's tool, and worse, much worse. The trial was not fair. You had no proof, and you knew it. Credible witnesses gave believable testimony, sir. Witnesses like Gibbs, who pressured you into a guilty verdict to avoid being suspected of witchcraft yourself. There was pressure, I'll not deny it. But I did what I did to protect the colony. It was a difficult time. The picture of yourself that you hold in your mind is that of a great occultist. To repel the devil, the wise and fearless man must learn the Black Spy's tricks. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil, past the hem, beyond the invisible? Have you ever heard of the Aralu? What gibberish is this? No? 
Your good friend Etienne Roulet did not, it seems, they knew worthy of his secrets. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Do you then consider yourself a true demonologist? In order that a war be just, three things are necessary. Firstly, the authority of the sovereign. Secondly, a just cause. Thirdly, a rightful intention. Aye, the Summa Theologiae of St Thomas Aquinas, a classic quote from which you have conveniently omitted an important detail. To wit, a just cause is required, namely that those who are attacked should be attacked because they deserve it on account of some fault. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. What do you really want, Governor? I wish only to serve. I am the trusted servant of the good people of New Eden. Without me, they're lost. Without them, you would be lost. Yes. Maybe I do need them. A very human of me. But these people undoubtedly need me, Mr. McCraith. And there is no one else. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract, I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you! Aha! Poison it was, then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna, Hemlock, Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken, secrets and lies, wrongs, basically, your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius, the wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You say your flock forced your hand. For the greater good, you say, you indulge their bloodlust. I believe you did it. I don't believe your motive. You delighted in your magical witch hunt, your trivial rituals. You thought you'd be lauded for your humility and skill. But you have neither. Now all around you crumbles. Yet still, you state your claim as the rightful protector of the people of New Eden. I have found the culprit, the devil worshipper, the source of the evil that has befallen your community. Sorry, son. Having a laugh. You can't be. Oh, that don't. <laughs> My son, a witch. <laughs> you mock us, sir. Present proof or retract your ridiculous accusation. Now you need proof. For years, Lamy studied your precious library of the forbidden. But he outdid his father. He learned. It was Lamy 
who taught Caleb Watson the dark ritual that brought his beloved wife back from the dead. I was trying to help. I did nothing wrong. No! Lord of mercy! For shame! The boy was always strange. No. No, Lammy is a good boy. I won't have it. Easy, Governor. Your son's intentions were sound, and his mistakes, grave as they were, did not poison the well. Forgive me for swearing in the meeting house, but this is a blooming farce. Have I ever failed you? In evil times, have we not endured? Have I not protected you? Fooled by his own flesh, how could he be so blind? Have faith. The Banisher has lifted the curse. Brighter days are here. I knew you were trouble. You and your lady. Look what you've done. Don't push your luck, Haskell. I've given you a shot at redemption. It's more than you gave Deborah. Damn you, Banisher. Paid in consideration of a curse lifted. All rights defended now and hereafter. I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't count on it. The work's not done. After all this, don't forget to rest. Oh.